about you weird little trash pandas. I was looking through my subscriptions and I saw this video. So obviously we're gonna click on it, see what's up. AJ Rose Carpets and Flooring is making it easier than ever to shop for new floors. Can't find the time to- Whether you like it or not, artificial intelligence is here to stay. Yep. And YouTube and just announced a few AI tools heading to the platform. Here's what you need to know. YouTube is embracing AI for their creators with a few new ways to make videos. So let's dive into what they're cooking. First up, this year they'll be testing a new feature called Dream Screen. The concept is simple. You type a prompt of whatever wild stuff flows through your imagination and you get an AI generated video background. Here's the twist. It's mainly for YouTube shorts. These are meant to be the setting of your main content instead of replacing the main content entirely. Welcome to Jelly Bean Beach. Alright, boys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I think this is really cool, but I could also see it going wrong by people who take advantage of it and just not make anything themselves. Let's see how the testing goes before we judge. Now YouTube wants to make things easier for creators to start the production process. Over in YouTube Studio, we're getting AI-powered insights. This will give you video ideas based on what's popular and what kind of videos you actually make. Apparently this was already tested for a small group of creators, and 70 percent of them said it helped. Not a bad start. The AI chaos continues with a new feature for finding music. Type a description of your content and you'll be met with suggestions to put in your video. Not much else to say. It seems fine. The last new feature is automatic dubbing, which uses artificial intelligence to dub your videos in other languages and expand your audience to more people around the world. Honestly, I dig it. But overall, YouTube's new AI features do work what I think AI needs to do. They work not as a replacement, but as a tool to make the creation process so much more convenient. If this will inspire more people to start making content who otherwise wouldn't have before, that's a W in my book. Still not sure how I feel about Dream Screen, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The future of this technology is incredibly exciting and terrifying. How far will it go? Will we eventually not need human creators at all? I don't want to think about that, but I do like these basic tools they're starting out with. We'll see what happens.